In this video I'm going to make a guitarophone using a fairly cheap three quarter size guitar. This guitar was from a local store and cost around 15-20 pounds. I only mention that because after I made my double neck guitar video I got a healthy amount of abuse from people who I can only imagine are the all guitars matter types. The sort who, if the nuance of a message or idea were an actual tank, would still be looking in their shopping bags while the thing was thundering past. But in some way I understand the outrage I coveted. The double neck guitar is to the guitarist what two ice cream cones is to a child, an expression of their spalt indulgence, and my light-hearted attempt to make one simply fueled their ripening outrage along the intestinal passage of their minds, culminating in a steaming pile of comments. But this video will be different because no one cares about xylophones. I've already laid out the individual pieces of metal roughly where I want them to go and I've designed and started printing these compressible PLA modules that will <laughs> that can be pushed through the opening on either side. Along with these sections I'm going to need to cut some felt just to raise the key so that it uh, resonates a little bit better. So I'm going to set up one bar without any glue to hear what it sounds like. It took me several attempts to design the 3D printed pegs until they evolved into something that worked. I'm not going to show you that side of the build as it's a little technical, but if you do have any questions about 3D printing, just write them in the comment section below and I'll try and answer them. Okay, so I think that's going to work. I just need to mark these up. What I also need to do is key the back of the guitar so the glue can stick a little bit better. And I'm going to use a knife to do that. So I'll hold that in position and then just score a few lines. And that should help. help the glue just get underneath that. These gloves are completely the wrong size for my hands and they're actually very uncomfortable to work in. But what's more uncomfortable is getting super glue under your nail. I'll try and persist but I may have to take these off. So what you can't see me doing is while working I make sure to close the glue lid between applications so I don't accidentally spill any glue or dry out the nib. And I've also got the window wide open so there's a nice breeze coming into the room to help diffuse the super glue fumes. These are a little bit high but right, I'm going to leave that to dry just to make sure that it actually works and then I'll print some more. A bit noisy with that in the background. If you couldn't hear what I said there, it's getting a bit noisy in the background with the Moot 1 CNC machine drawing some of the front covers for the manual, along with the 3D printer making a batch of pegs. The method changed as I went along and eventually followed a procedure where I glued the pegs on first and used the keys resting on top to center them while they dried in position. I would then glue the felt onto the back and waited a little while for that to dry as well. And once I was confident nothing would shift, I pushed the bars into place. Even how I pushed the bars changed as I carried on, pushing one side at a time to make a lot less noise. But this is an instrument after all and the noise is the interesting bit. I realised I needed to get the gloves back into action, but I only had the small ones still. So I cut a few fingers off and wore those. And here I'm taking the final 3D printed pegs off the print surface. I like the print with a brim that increases the surface area and helps the model to stick down properly.
I have rotated the guitar around and now working on these sharp and flat bars, or semitones, I'm not sure what they're called. While I do that, I'll mention that I've got enough footage to make this into a half passable art video, but instead I'm going to cut to myself playing a song. I'll let you take a moment to guess what it is. While I played the guitar in the key of heteronormative, I then flipped it over and realised the only person who would have actually had the skill to play the guitar phone would have been Jimi Hendrix, because all the keys were upside down. Anyway, if you know someone who might be able to play this, let me know as soon as possible, as I'm either going to give it away or throw it in the bin. Thanks again for watching and you'll catch me like a cold. Thank you.